Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am showing you guys dyeing with pomegranate skins and dyeing some t-shirts with them. So here you can see this is what I was kind of prepping in the beginning. I took all the skins, put them into water and they are going to be simmering for one hour. And it creates this beautiful yellow color as you can see it starting to develop in the water and later I will be showing you guys a little bit more but right now if you haven't already please subscribe like this video if you like it comment below what you want me to see died later maybe you will see it happen and if there's any video suggestions you have please comment them also below and let's get back to the video So it's been an hour and now we have the pomegranate skins looking faded because the dye has come out of the skins and into the water and I'm now just removing the skins and getting ready to put the shirts in there which I'll show you guys later and these are the shirts that I did the soy bath in a previous vlog if you haven't seen it below I'll suggest it right above and so you can click on that video later and just getting out all the skin so that I can get my t-shirts in there to then go in there for an hour as well. Hey guys, okay, so I have all my t-shirts ready for today and I have them banded up kind of like how I did the bleached shirts. I just kind of want that kind of crystally wash look so I don't want it to be so perfect. So just bundle up, they've been soaking in water, and then we're going to be putting them into our into our pomegranate skin dye. And then that's gonna be in there for an hour to get a really rich yellow color. And then later, we're gonna come back. I'm on my balcony right now. We're gonna come back, and then we're gonna do an iron bath with it to change the color. And then we're gonna, I got some log wood. Right here. And then some botanical colors, and then I'm going to be that. This can make a purple color, but then hopefully the end result will be a black color. So that's what I'm trying to go for today. It's been an hour and look at that beautiful yellow color. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. And now, I am. this is my iron bath. I didn't expect it to be this brown color, but it's not going to be the color that these shirts are turning. As you can see already, it's already turning like this grayish, greenish color. And that is the purpose of using the iron, is to satin the color, or darken the color is another, I guess another word to use. And I'm, these have been for a little bit longer, as you can see, and they have changed colors, which I think is so cool about natural dyeing, is that you just use different minerals and like natural plants, and like you can change the colors and just create these beautiful colors. So this is what it looked like after like 30 minutes of it being in that bath. And here's just some more shirts that I had put into this bucket to get that color just kind of make sure that I move them around and saturate them now here is the last color this is the logwood color chips and it's this beautiful purple and adding it to it makes it darkens all the colors and hopefully uh, creates a black color that I got this whole inspiration from Billy New if you haven't checked out her channel I'll link her below um, but she was the one who kind of created this process of creating a black color so I was kind of going off of her video and so yeah those are the chips that had been soaking um, and now here it is again after 
about say 30 45 minutes of it just kind of soaking in there sorry about the clip it's not the best didn't realize my phone was not pointing into the camera but you guys will see the final results after air drying and everything so I know this video was really short but I hope you guys really enjoyed these are the final results I think it's so beautiful I love the gray color that it kind of showed came out of it and also I ended up dyeing some silk um, pieces for scrunchies later in the pomegranate water that I had on the stove already so I just took some extra pieces and dyed those and all of these shirts will be screen printed on and embroidered later so that will be next week's video showing you guys the final results but I am just so happy with how these look the colors are so beautiful I just like want to stare at them all day and I'm super excited to do some more natural dyeing in the future and so with that said please subscribe if you haven't subscribed already please like this video and I can't wait to see you guys next week um talk to you guys later bye